Okay, and welcome to this uh, just quick overview of uh, Vizmats, uh, Vray Vizmats or Vray uh, VR mats. There's a load of stuff online um, at the Chaos Group website to help you out. So do um, head on um, over there. You can see about the new material editor. Uh, but let's crack on. Um, if you, I mean, there are loads of websites that you can. Uh, use this one's vizmats.com for downloading uh, these types of materials. There's loads of uh, libraries, many of them are free, um, and you can just navigate through. Um, we're going to download a leather material, and um, so uh, this one, um, you don't have to pay for these, you don't even have to sign up on this website, which is fantastic. So let's download it, and it gives you this zip file, which obviously. Uh, you need to unwrap, uh, unwrap <laughs> or extract uh, rather. So um, let's grab it and extract it to get the files. Um, and you'll notice uh, once we've extracted it um, that it gives you um, the, the vismap file and then any textures that are associated to that. So back in 3ds Max, if we open the material editor and uh, if we uh, set up a V-Ray VR map material um, and double click it to get its properties um, uh, then there's not many options but if you click on file to open the Vizmat um, that, uh, that we've downloaded and then um, there it is and all you need to do is go to the uh, open editor button and uh, this will give you the properties for that Vizmat that, uh, that we've downloaded so there's loads of stuff here, loads of rollouts, uh, some of which will be familiar, um, but some of which won't. I mean, it's obviously a different layout to the normal um, editor, which is a shame, um, but a lot of the properties are similar, and you can edit these in the same way uh, that you normally would, and uh, just get you just need to get used to a new um, editor, really. That's, uh, that's about it, really. Um, hopefully all these will be familiar. Uh, to most of you, you've got your maps as well, like your bump, um, etc. You can even add layers. Um, so, um, if you have, if you want a refraction layer, for example, then you can add that in, and that just comes up as you can see as a separate rollout. Um, so, I mean, that's fairly handy just to be able to layer it. Um, in terms of saving, um, standard saving options, um, which is going to save this as an edited uh, version, and um, that's your your vismap. Well, your edited Vizmat saved, um, so you obviously download the material and use that as a base, um, and then we've edited it. So that's uh, that's Vizmats, uh, really. Okay, now we're going to create a new material for this uh, item. It's going to be a fabric uh, material, and we're eventually going to save that out as a, uh, a Vizmat material. Uh, two. So if we uh, just open the material editor, this is uh, this is the material that we're going to create. Um, you can see it's uh, all set up, the bump, etc. So why don't we just crack on um, with that and add a bitmap into um, the uh, diffuse slot. Uh, a high res material is best, um, and uh, I tend to just set its blur uh, to be quite a bit lower, especially for still images, just to get that detail um, out of the bitmap. Um, but yeah, high resolution bitmap is key. Uh, we're going to then set up the bump map, so if we take a copy of that material um, and then use the bump. Um, this is just a grayscale version really of the original and you can use levels etc uh, to adjust that uh, for your uh, purposes. In terms of the reflection, just a, a simple value of 65 will do or around there, adjust the reflection uh, glossiness, it's going to be really reflective, um, which is nice, but make sure it's got Fresnel reflections and subdivs uh, quite high, um, just so that it displays properly. Um, those are your bump settings, you can obviously reduce the bump if you want. Um, so that's our, our seat fabric, relatively um, straightforward, um, it's nice to keep things simple. Um, now apply it to the uh, object, make sure it's visible in the viewport and you can see uh, see that's all um, set up for us now. Um, unwrapping is key obviously for such an object like this with the 
uh, seams, etc. They've all got to be set up correctly uh, so that it displays properly. You won't get away with simple UVW mapping um, on this one. Um, head over to the materials, tools, and convert uh, to VR map file uh, tool and um, comes up with just these options. We're just going to use pick and convert uh, material and then pick it from the scene. Um, so, really simple workflow. Um, and then all you do is save it um, to your chosen destination. It's that simple. Um, and then you've got that VR mat to use. Um, as you can see there, it saves out the JPEGs as well. Um, so, that's really handy. And you can then send that on to someone else.